All right. Now, what we see here is pretty deceptive because this looks like this would be like one nice cut. But if you come up here and go to view, display mode, and then outline, you'll see that it's not actually the L that's into the O and so on. This is how the glow for is actually going to read, read your SVG. So this line over here that overlaps with the O, the part of the L that overlaps with the O, would get cut out of the O and so on, which is not what you want. So let's come over here to the objects tab. If you're not already on it, click on the objects tab, expand out this grouping. This here means that it's a grouping and select the sub paths. For this next step, it's really important that you select the sub paths because it cannot, it cannot work with this grouping. You cannot select the grouping. You have to pick these sub paths. That's something I tend to forget if I don't use Inkscape a lot and I come back, I forget about that. So keep that one in mind. Now go to path and do union. And you see now that that little like cut out of the O no longer exists. It's all connected, which is perfect. That's what we want. Now the G over here is a separate piece. If you wanted to make sure that it was connected as well, which is entirely possible, um, there's an option we can do for that as well. So let's undo the function we just did. You can just click on, oops. All right, so we undid the function, just do control um, Z. And now we wanna come over here to the objects tab and just find the letter G, which is this one over here and move it over so that it now overlaps a little bit with that. That should be plenty. All right, so now, and this is just if you wanted the G to be fully connected, select the sub paths again and go to union. And now there we go. The G is part of the L and so on. So all the way across our text, it is now combined correctly. This is a better view of what you're actually going to be cutting when you work with it. So when you work in Inkscape, you may actually want to always function in this view. Um, I do or don't depending on what I'm working on, but it's certainly helpful. So now that we've done this part, you just go to file, save, and it'll automatically save as an SVG. And then you can import it into Glowforge, Glowforge's app, just as you would any other SVG and you're ready to go.